Hey, LA Progressive family. This is Sharon here to chat with you about um, the midterm election cycle that now is sort of fading fast behind us. And how is it that a party, a major political party, incited an attempt to violently overthrow the United States government and still they gained a seat to make them the majority in the House of Representatives. And in fact, uh, the Democratic Party uh, did gain the House and the Senate, one Senate seat for a precarious 51 to 49 majority. Um, although now lobbyist favorite cinema has declared herself an independent and so-called Democrat, Joe Big Oil and Coal Mansion will happily put future generations at risk for his anti-climate positions. So, so how is this possible that this happens? Well, one of the reasons, there are many, but one of the reasons is because of an organization known as ALEC. So ALEC stands for the American Legislative Exchange Council, and it's a secret corporate front group that solicits money from corporations and spends it to support lawmakers who will sign an oath of allegiance to Alec. In fact, many organizations such as the League of Women Voters have come out and condemned Alec for their behavior. Um, but yet, you know, they still do what they do. Number one reason they continue to do what they do is because they're so successful. A woman who I have the utmost respect for, um, Lisa Graves, who is the founder and the executive director of Exposed by CNB Investing Power. CNB stands for the Center for Media and Democracy. She's really devoted her life to putting a spotlight on ALEC, the American Legislative Exchange Council, and also on the Koch brothers who um, were very, very involved in founding um, ALEC and funding them. So let's take a little look and see what is it that ALEC does. Hold up for a second. A bill, yes, I'm only a bill, and I'm sitting here on Capitol Hill. Well, it's a long, long journey. Tough break, Billy Boy, but there's a new way to make laws these days. Alex, the name, and you better not have scratched the limo, pal. See, it works like this nowadays. Bunch of corporations get together and get tax write-offs for bankrolling a, a charity called the American Legend. They schmooze and booze a whole lot of politicians from states all over the country at posh hotels. Corporate bucks also buy scholarships for politicians. If you're a scholar of drinking scotch, smoking cigars, and playing golf at a resort, so now there's suddenly one big happy family, the corporations, the lobbyists, the politicians. They all get together far away from your citizens and voters, and the unelected lobbyists secretly vote with the politicians to do. Like, uh, get clean air and water rules, raise your credit card rates as high as they want, crush them democratic unions, make it easier to get away with shooting people, and privatize <clears throat> private. Hell, they privatized their own mothers. So once the politicians have been wined and dined, a little campaign contribution here, a good time there, the politicians, are <coughs> legislators, head back to their capitals or Congress and fast track as many of these bills as they can. And here I am, a model Alec Bill, soon to be law. <coughs> it's a hell of a. So, um, that's kind of what happens with Alec. Alec? Unfortunately, we don't have the same kind of thing on the Democratic side of the House. So I signed up to vote in the CalDem, the California Democratic Party ADEMS election. And it's not too late for you to do it too. I'll send you some information on how to do it. But I did receive this envelope. It was the reason I was holding it up. Because in this envelope is included a way for me to vote and an envelope to mail my ballot, filled in ballot. Once I fill this in, then I put it in this envelope and I mail it to the California Democratic Party. Problem is, this doesn't have any names of any of the candidates who are running for ADEM. 
In order to find out their names, I've got to go to the California Democratic Party website. Well, I do know at least one person that the LA Progressive is endorsing, and that is number four. Number four is a gentleman by the name of Wade Kyle, and he's running in the 66th Assembly District, which I'm sure somebody that's watching this is running in the 66th Assembly District. But to learn more, you can go to Cal Dem and find out more about these ADEM elections. Sadly, unless we get more involved, we can't shape the mechanisms of the Democratic Party. And that's our only choice. We are up against so much. Alec is so far ahead of us. And that's why you can have a party that supports the overthrow of the American government and still wins a majority in the House. Well, that's all for today, guys. I'll talk to you in a few days. Till next time, so long.